And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Shen. We're gonna play a bunch of support cards. It's been a long time since we played a support deck and y'all know that I really like support decks. It's fun to play a bunch of units out, uh, figure out like the different um, things to do in combat with all these support cards. And we got Mountain Sojourners. We're gonna be going with Ionia and Targon playing a Mountain Sojourners deck to be able to pump them all up. I think it'll be pretty fun. We have nine one drops because with these decks, it's really important for you to get ahead early, you know, get one drops out there and give you cards to support. Cause you know, you need your, you need your support cards, of course, but then you also need your things to support. And so that's why we got all of these one drops in here. And um, even like turn four, being able to play like a Lulu or Mentor the Stones plus a one mana card to support, that can be really important being able to double spell um, like that. So yeah, this should be pretty fun. Let's go play our five games over in ranked. All right, back to Trundle Trindamir. So another Feel the Rush deck. Looks like they're playing Ionia as well. So like they could be playing Deny, that kind of stuff. All right, we definitely need our, our one drops, but then if we go one drop Tiari, Mention the Stones, I like where we're going there. Okay, there's a good one drop. And I think we played Tiari over Young Witch. If they have Avalanche on turn three, that would be really bad for me, of course, but... If they don't, we can get these things out of Avalanche range very quickly. Reaching the peak will change everything. Nothing escapes my watch. Alright, so they can still play Avalanche. Yeah, I just kind of hope they don't have Avalanche, I guess. Looking into the future, I see purple. At least Mentor the Stones gives me all the gems. Dang. That card's pretty great. All right, gonna need to start over. Let's try again. Ours is the one true light. The trolls are going to war. Okay, so that's gonna be four. Cost three mana. Yeah, we can play TR also. Base camp. Tomorrow, the summit. I won't stop now. Punish transgressions. I really hope no troll chant. Really hope this works. All right, well, this game wasn't very close. <laughs> they smashed me with avalanche and then trundle troll trundle troll chant. But what are you gonna do? I walk the space between worlds. A little snowball. What are you going to do? Yeah, I know. You won this game. Congratulations. Come on, Rip. Zoom. This way, go. I find them unworthy. They look angry. The king could go where they are needed. 
I'm just working towards leveling up Shen right now. I think that's all I'm really doing. Just leveling up Shen, but... We don't really have any chance of winning this game. Anymore. All right, let's go to the next one. I have disgraced the King Koo. Yay. Not Trundle Trindamir. That's the good news. Um, you know, so we don't have to worry about Avalanche. I mean, bad news, we do have a lot of small things that are easy to kill. I think I'm going to go with this. Just keep the Solari Soldier. Um, kind of look for our champions. You know, we... Our deck's definitely a curve out deck. Curving out with our champions is the best that you know our deck can do. Is the one true light. Punish transgressions. So I decided to mulligan the other three. Look for Lulu and Chen. Not quite getting there. I'll become who I was always meant to be. Okay, there's Shen. Shen is good. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. Did we get some luck. Wow, we did. Celestial power. So going this way, they get to kill my mentor, the stones. But yeah, I think this is definitely the way to go. You know, the 2-2 two -two can block the Mentor of the Stones. We've got a good pump on both our Solari Soldier and the Tiari. Heal these things that are damaged. Stop Ravenous Flock from happening. Just gonna spend some mana doing that. Stow the rations, shackle the prisoners. I'll blow them to pieces. It's looking like a pretty rough make it rain. So basically, this gives me like Sonic Wave. Doing bad fighting through stuff. You know, like they have five cards, I have four cards. We got all these things. Like mm. never mind. Good good removal. We did a pretty decent job. I think. Those are not easy things to fight through. We got Spirit's Refuge, the Solari Soldier. Whoa, you gotta focus. I thought they said this climb would be a challenge. So this is just a mentor of the stones right now.
All right, so this should now stun my Green Glade Caretaker. They should thank you for the Healer Nexus for five. Make that thing a little easier to kill. We still have the Green Glade Caretaker that can block it. Yuck. That's pretty good. I've whipped up something special. We lean on compassion when we lose our footing. Sure, but really, watch your footing. This'll send them running. All right, passing on over to me. Just a little farther. Let's see. We're at four, four, and five, six. Darn. I was really hoping they didn't block one of them, because if they, you know, if they didn't block one, um, I guess it would have only been 9 damage, it would have been lethal. But I was certainly hoping they didn't, oh no, no, because yeah, then I would have resonating strike, so yeah, so if they didn't block one, then we would have been able to kill them with the Green Glade Caretaker. I'm not sure if I use Stand United right now, so it would save 6 damage. I guess I do. Just save six damage on these things. Loyalty through conquest. No, another Swain and a Leviathan. That's too bad. GG's. Debating on whether I want to just throw away both of these cards to draw a card. There's no way they attack, right? Artillery barrage. Nature blesses her no. Unfortunately, they didn't. <laughs> yeah, that would have been great if they would have attacked. Join us. The more hands, the better. I'll go as far as I'm able. GG's was a good, a good back and forth game, but they just got me with. You know, powder keg, make it rain. Be the and ravenous flock. Being awesome. Alright, back to karma. I have... Let's keep flower child, look for some support stuff for it. We'll keep deny for you know all the stuff that Shadow Owls has. Don't think I won't unmake you because I will. Whatever the journey brings, I welcome it. Hopefully we get to attack. Yeah, they could have Go Hard and Vile Feast. The spirit gives to those Yay. who listen. I do this. We can turn. We get to turn this flower child into a three-four now. Ready yourself. So that's pretty good. One mana three-four. Nothing wrong with that. We get one mana loyal badger bear. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Mentor the stone's pretty awkward. Right, like they they definitely have go hard. So, Mentor the Stones just dies to that. It does give me the three gems. But then if I want to play Shen next turn... I guess I just play it. I guess it's better than playing Green Glade Caretaker. Because if they have Go Hard, they can kill the Tiari anyway. Oh, uh, they have both.
So we're not attacking. Get the Dragonlings. No, I'm gonna get Shen in play. We can be a little more patient on the Big Iden. Good card. I don't like this Thresh. It just eats my turn. It's pretty annoying. Last couple turns have been pretty great for them. We're in this together. Right. It's a good draw. So they're looking at vengeance. We have the deny. Uh, they should be blocking with the spiderlings to help level up Thresh, and then you know maybe they play two spells and get dragonlings that also level up Thresh. Maybe we'll be able to, you know, fey guide this flower child and surprise them with a bunch of damage down the road. All right, bunch of stand uniteds. So I really don't want them to play multiple spells. Because if they do... Then they get Draglings. And they're gonna use another Vengeance. I think I'd rather them Vengeance the Flower Child than the Shen. Our Shen's about to level up. Yeah, hoping that was just their one Vengeance. They don't get to save... Sh they don't get to save Thresh. That'd be good. Friends, Glow. That's fine with me. Nature blesses her followers. We each defend our brethren. Mm. Not passing. How does it take them two minutes to, to do that? That is so that is very annoying. It just took like two minutes to play those two go hards. It's not that difficult. Alright, we'll just try to give these two things elusive. See so if they have a ruination next turn, you know I'm I'm in a ton of trouble, but Oh well. Rose. The balance requires a watchful eye. I'll become who I was always meant to be. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. Okay, so we're gonna have I find them unworthy. I won't stop four like that. I put them to two. We'll just kind of spread this wealth out a little bit. 
Okay, well, let's see let's see what they got. I guess I I guess I should be playing the other gem because of like Vile Feast, and you know then they wouldn't just be going to one, right? Like force them to have two other cards. I should be playing this other gem. They already played two Vile Feast though. All right, I tried. Guess I don't know if I honestly don't know if that's worth it. If that's necessary. Cause like they could do that like on the Mentor of the Stones anyway. Pretty good. Love it. Maybe maybe the best draw in the deck right there. Okay, so that's already gonna be seven. That's gonna be seven. I need the Solari Soldier, that will be seven. Okay. So I can, doesn't really matter what I put these gems on. This will just go over here. So basically, <clears throat> like these things that are four power with with Shen's plus three ability, that means that with the Stand United, that that turns into seven power. This turns into seven power. So all three of these are lethal attackers. Um, this one I couldn't I couldn't quite make the Young Witch also lethal. Like I don't think I could make all of them lethal. Okay, they just had that. GG's. All right, one and two. So far, basically, we've we've basically beat every single Karma deck and lost to every other deck today. Everything as it should be. It's really close to that. Don. Non Karma. <laughs> That means loss. All right, maybe they won't have Avalanche. That'd be good. All right, we're definitely keeping Deny, of course. Now, we're gonna get rid of Mentor the Stones and um, the Caretaker. That's pretty ugly. We want, okay, there we go. Two drop support. That's good. Now let's get like Lulu. I don't think we've had Lulu any of these games, right? Have we? No, I don't think so. No, we haven't even drawn Lulu, Together, so. We can do this. No time to rest. Oh, friends, Glow. So yeah, I would like to draw a Lulu, please. Less important. Guess we're going. You're so hungry. 
pretty rough draws after our mulligan. We did get the one TRE. But besides that... Stand United, Stand United, Spirit's Refuge. Kind of the, the saddest cards. Can't get through hapless aristocrat. Um. Freak, is that a familiar frog? Oh my gosh! Go on, Rib. You don't mean to say hello. Hello. Who would face me? Come on, Rib. Slow down. Guess we're going. So I'm going to be casting a Stand United here to put the 4-1 Quick Attack in front of, of Trindamir, which I guess the Quick Attack doesn't matter because then it turns into the 9-9 and then just kills your thing anyway. You'll need more than that. Oh wait, but it has a barrier because Stand United has a barrier. Okay, so let's just go with that and that. So half a turn to mirror down. Don't really know how I'm dealing with the other half, but right now half a turn to mirror down. Probably what we needed, another one mana card. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. King of trolls coming through. Okay. All right, so we got a 9-6 now. I can take down a 9-9, theoretically. Let's talk about your dad. these both into being 9 power. I'll just hold on to them. I'm not sure what we're going to do with them. But pretty sure we'll have mana later to play them. Solaris Ultra again is our worst possible draw. These 1 mana cards are just our worst things we can possibly draw. So 12 mana, I can do um, any combination of two of these three between Deny, Stand United, and Spirit's Refuge. Oh, this thing's an 8-2? I should have jumped to that. One smack will do. Stop moving down to three.
warriors of the sun's true light. I'd love to draw another stand united. All unbelievers will see the light. So I'll make that seven. Oh yeah, it's true. We've already drawn both stand Uniteds. Oh, I probably should challenge that 08 over here or something. If only I had another stand United and some other stuff. And some other stuff. Mount Sojourners, you would have been great last turn. And eh, not that great. One and three. Okay, over to Karma. That's good. That's the only only champion we can defeat today. So I'm glad we're playing against Karma. Now, Young Witch and Venture the Stones both very easy to kill with PNZ cards. But if they don't have the PNZ card to kill, like Mentor the Stones right away, um, I love that plus two plus two that it grants. Um, I'm still gonna mulligan him. In all these games, we haven't seen a Lulu yet. You know, one of our two champions. This is game number five, including all the mulligans and everything. We we just haven't even drawn a Lulu, and our deck is all about support. So that's not a good combination. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. These woods protect their own. Not all mean well. So my plan here is to play. Oh, we finally have Lulu. My plan here is to play Young Witch and then have Pale Cascade with Nightfall. That's my plan of playing the Green Glade Caretaker first. Um, if I just didn't play the Caretaker, which would have probably been better, I could have gone. You know, would have had five mana, so I could have gone Lulu and Pale Cascade. I thought you'd never ask. Come on, Rip. You're between me and glory. Firing. All right, well, we're in a ton of trouble now with free mystic Watch shots. A watchful eye. I have another mystic shot. Please don't. All right, so they're getting a draggling by casting that thing. I like the pill cascade draw. Can maybe give us a little bit of protection. All right, so it looks like I'm probably gonna have to deny the Mystic Shant Sounds dangerous. that they get Not for free. Nature blesses her 
Use the stand united. This, you know, basically means that we're protecting Shen from this and another. All right, so maybe we'll be able to deny another static shock if that's their plan. And you go Sojourners with deny backup. Hope that Sojourners can pump up all this stuff. Come on, pass priority. Let me attack. Let me attack. We need to we need to support. Gross. It must be done. Let's use all the colors. So it probably means um, Lulu down. I see every move. Your attack is obvious. Don't make me flip. You cannot win. Need to protect Mountain Sojourners. Being a 2-5, don't want it to die to a Mystic Shant. Alright, did not end up being the best attack. What is gained when we return malevolence? One shot, all skill. Did not end up being the best attack. I'm gonna be doing Stand United again. Because, you know, I'd like to play Mentor the Stones, but obviously then we, I don't have Stand United available if I do that. We walk between realms. The balance has been maintained. Ezreal has just been annihilating me this game. All these all these free mystic shots just annihilated me. This turn three Ezreal. Alright, so Nopify and something else. We got rid of. Was it deny, I guess? Nopify and deny, I guess? Gives to those who listen. And of course, all these draglings to block didn't help either. Tell me, Sage, what does my future hold? Uh, vision hazy. Please ask again later. It must be done. Whee! Only we could give this green glade caretaker overwhelm. That'd be pretty nice. Yeah, so I could, I could, yeah, so I could, I could, uh, you know, put it on like the shit. I could, yeah, I could go back up to twenty, which I guess may be necessary. My father's blade. Could definitely be necessary with. Um, Nature blesses her followers. We'll bring peace to Ionia. Yeah. Whatever the cost. With double mystic shots and all that kind of stuff. Peace begins within. I didn't even think of Stand United. I should have. I don't know why. I was just thinking about, you know, like the life total. And I know how we drew that card and, you know, we drew the stand United and I just didn't even consider 
I didn't even think of like really what I should do. You know, I'd even like consider even casting Stand United or like that we had the mana to cast Stand United. For some reason, in my mind, it was like I only had four mana. Like I didn't have enough mana for for Stand United. But yes, I think I, I should have um, swapped the Greenglade Caretaker and gone for Lethal. Now, they they did just discard. So like it wouldn't have worked. They just discarded Steel Tempest that they had. So like if I if I would have gone for it, they had the Steel Tempest. So it would not have ended up working, but I should have. And then and then of course we would have died. So then we would have been at eleven, and like we would have already been dead right now. All right, so now just an Ezreal attack kills me. So Ezreal just dominated this game. Just completely dominated. Turn three and I don't know how to... What was it, like four? Four free Mystic Shots, I think? That just was too many free, uh, really good cards. Um... Yeah, so that Ezreal just really dominated us. Um, I know we went one and four, but I think our deck actually felt pretty good, which is, you know, like, kind of weird. We didn't have, like, the best best of hands all the time, and, um, yeah, I just, I didn't have an answer to that, to that Ezreal. Um, okay, I know I wasn't playing Hush, and I guess, I guess maybe that's a card that, that we should be playing. I think after playing all those games, I think I would want to take out the ninth one drop. Let's go with like eight of those and play a hush. Hush would have been amazing to be able to, you know, hush an Ezreal and then block it, or even just really good against Trundle Trindamir as well. So I think I think that's one. I think I would take out the ninth one drop. We we did just draw way too many one drops. Um, I think that one drops are very important, and it's you know it's important to have, but we did just we drew too many. And, um, you know, didn't draw our champions that much. Like, we did have a good amount of Shens, and Shen was great. Shen was, you know, like our best card. But it wasn't until that very last game until we had a Lulu at all. And so we only played one Lulu in five games. And that's going to be the kind of thing. Like, just imagine, like, whatever deck that you're playing, like, with your two champions. Imagine that you just don't ever have one of your two champions. You just never draw it. You're probably not going to be doing as well. You know, like, you probably wouldn't have, like, the best of record. And that's kind of what happened with us. Like, we just didn't have enough power. And not having Lulu's was a big deal. It was a big reason why we just didn't have enough power. So that's Lulu Shen. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.